<laughs> Want role plays without the ads? For just $3 a month on Patreon, you'll not only gain early access to my role plays, you'll also be able to vote on which role play I make for the week. And for $5 a month, you'll be able to get an exclusive girlfriend role play, which no one else will be able to hear. Head over to Patreon to check it out today. Or if you're interested in staying closer to home, check out Vixie Voices YouTube memberships, where for just $3 a month, you'll get early access to my role plays, as well as a badge next to your name whenever you comment, and adorable emojis to post as well. Check out the links below for more information. Also, check out the Vixie Voice merch store to pick up some snuggly merch for your winter today. Link is in the description. The following roleplay is rated PG-13. I couldn't wait to read your letter to me. I could barely sleep knowing that you were out there looking for me. Your sweet words to me each and every week make me long to hear those words from your own lips. Your poem this week was particularly striking to me. There was the line, I wander the fields, searching for a voice among the wind. It calls to me and leads me in a direction I never once traveled. It definitely struck a chord with me. I like to imagine it's my voice that's calling out to you, hoping that you'll come back to me soon and safe. I can hear your horse galloping towards my window and your voice calling out to me. I'd rush to your side and we'd be able to leave this place together and never look back. Today <laughs> was especially hard. After my daily chores, I found my room to be completely torn apart. I was scared that someone found the sweet words you write for me that they would be lost forever. Luckily, they were still in a safe place, and I was able to repair my room before the steward saw anything. It was strange. I don't know who did it, and I guess it doesn't matter knowing that I still have your letters. I find myself scared to see you sometimes. I definitely don't want you getting in trouble with the king. My heart would be broken if something were to happen to you. Your sweet words are really the only thing that make me happy in this dark place. And the reason I will risk it all to be able to see you, even if just for a moment. I wanted you to know how much you inspire me, so I decided to write some poetry of my own for you. I hope you enjoy it. This dark room is the only place I've ever known as home. My daily chores are a motivation for life. The fields that surround the castle remind me of the freedom I'm so close to, but I can never get farther than the garden. Back in the room, the only fields I get to roam are in my mind, and I always imagine myself alone. Until one day, a knight on a steed appeared with a special message for the king and queen. Unknowing that I was a maiden and not a princess, the knight divulged the special message to me. Behind their helmet, I could see determination and freedom. A feeling I had longed for. And just before an explanation was about to escape my lips, they turned and left back out into the fields across the castle and disappeared behind the mountains, leaving me standing there with an image I had never imagined before. My dreams were filled with fields, and now they were filled with the image of us, leaving the fields behind and running wherever we wanted. The knight returned to the castle days later and found me in the window. Not a word escaped their lips. They held their hand up and offered me a rose. The smell was so sweet under my nose and caused my heart to start beating faster. 
In a panic, I removed the ribbon from my hair, releasing it from its hold and sending it rolling down my back. I hesitantly passed the ribbon to you, and you held your arm out to me so gently. I was shaking as I placed the ribbon onto your arm. You then asked me for my name. You told me yours, and it was the first time your sweet voice graced my ears. You handed me a letter and told me that it was for me. I was honored and scared to speak to you, so I didn't say much of anything. I was a maiden that cleans the castle, and you were a knight that was free. You asked for my hand and removed your helmet, then gingerly kissed the back of my hand. Your eyes pierced my soul when they first met mine. Your smile melted my heart, and your voice soothed my woes. You said my name so sweetly, and then left once again, leaving me this time with a rose and a letter. I knew your words would be mine alone to read, and later that night I found myself lost in your words. The world you created for me with your sweet words, paragraph after paragraph, I never wanted the words to end. I had to find a way to write back to you. I knew I wasn't very good at it, but I wanted to try. I carried that letter with me for weeks, wanting you to come back to me, waiting for you to come back to me and read my sweet words to you. Although weeks turned into months and the seasons began to change, my heart became still. My dreams would not allow me to go past the garden. On the coldest night, under the twinkling stars, I stared up at the moon, wondering if you remembered me as I did you, until the wind became still and the faint sound of galloping came rushing towards me. Behind the snow falling from the sky, a knight on a steed came rushing towards the castle. The knight stopped in front of my window and removed their helmet immediately. They reached out to me and took my hands. They were cold in mine. I looked into their eyes and I saw relief, as if they were searching for something on a long journey and they finally found it. I reached out to your face and you leaned in, and our lips met for the first time. A bolt of lightning passed through my body in that moment, and feeling your hands on my face after we parted is something I still carry with me. So intense, I nearly forgot the letter I had been carrying with me all this time. I passed it to you, and you told me to wait. How you planned on entering the castle to seek refuge from the storm for the evening. Luckily, the king allowed you in, and asked the staff to prepare you a room. In the night, you found my room, and hearing your sweet words to me sent chills down my spine. My curiosity took over, and I asked about the world past the mountain, the places you go and see. I wanted to know everything about you. I wanted to know what it was like to be free, as you were. You told me so many beautiful stories of oceans and forests, places beyond my wildest dreams. I wanted so very badly to leave with you and never look back to be able to see those places for myself until we heard footsteps in the hall and like the morning, our night was over. We hid until we could sneak you back into the hallway and you took me in your arms for the first time. The embrace was something I never expected. I heard your heartbeat for the first time and I fell. It was so hard to say goodbye to you. I watched as you rounded the corner and waved at me to say goodnight. You left on horseback the next morning, but not before looking back and waving. You returned week after week. You never let me feel alone again. You were always there to remind me that we had each other. Until the next letter, my love my one and only. I am forever yours, and always will be. Vixie.